This is Nick Pino from TechRadar.com, and this is a quick guide to help you set up your brand new iPhone. If this is your first iPhone, or if you're upgrading or switching from an Android-based phone, this guide is for you. First, we'll cover the basics of setting up your iPhone, enabling Touch ID, and importing your contacts. Then, we'll show you how to set up an Apple ID, which allows you to download apps, games, music, and a whole lot more. Out of the box, your new iPhone will come with earbuds and a carrying case, a charging cable, and a USB power adapter. In many regions, you'll also get a tool for opening the iPhone's SIM tray. If not, you can use a paperclip instead. Begin by inserting your SIM card into the iPhone. To do this, you need to open the SIM tray, which is located on the right-hand side of the iPhone's body. You should see a rectangle with a small hole on one side. Insert the SIM tool or paper clip into the hole and apply firm pressure to eject the SIM tray. Now insert your SIM into the tray so that it fits. This ensures that the SIM is the right way up. Recent iPhones use nano SIM cards, so if you have a larger SIM card, you will need to get a replacement from your wireless provider. To begin charging your iPhone, plug the small lightning connector into the bottom of the iPhone. This connection is reversible, so it doesn't matter which way you insert it. Next. Attach the USB end of the cable to the power adapter and plug into an available wall outlet. You can also charge via an available USB port on your computer. Turn on the iPhone by pressing and holding the power button on the right side. Once powered, the screen will say hello in multiple languages, with a slide to setup prompt across the bottom. Swipe right with your finger to begin the setup process. Select your language, then your country or region. Now, we're going to set up and personalize your iPhone. Connect the iPhone to your Wi-Fi network. Select the name of your wireless network from the list and enter the password to connect. This will allow you to download apps and games over your Wi-Fi network without using your phone's data allotment. You'll also be asked if you want to turn on location services, which is useful for apps like Maps and Weather that need to know where you are. You can secure your new iPhone with Touch ID. This allows you to unlock your phone and pay for purchases just by using your fingerprint. To set this up, place your finger on the home button and follow the on-screen instructions. You can also set a six-digit passcode to protect your iPhone. Change this to a four-digit passcode or turn off passcodes altogether by tapping passcode options. If you have an older iPhone, you can transfer your contacts and data to this new iPhone. Use iTunes or iCloud to back up that iPhone. On your new iPhone, either restore from iCloud or restore from your iTunes backup by choosing that option and connecting your phone to your computer, where you'll choose which backup to restore. If your previous smartphone was Android-based, you can easily transfer your important data by installing the Move to iOS app on your Android phone. Run that app, then, during the iPhone setup process, select Move Data from Android Enter the passcode in your Android phone and your photos, messages, and more will appear on your new iPhone. You'll now be asked to enter your Apple ID. This will allow you to use the App Store to buy and download apps and games. If you don't have an Apple ID, tap Don't have an Apple ID or Forgot it to set one up. Adding payment information here will allow you to buy apps and games from the App Store, as well as pay for goods from local shops thanks to Apple Pay. The final part of the setup process will ask you if you want to enable iCloud Keychain for saving your passwords. You'll also set up Siri, Apple's virtual assistant, by reading some sentences to train Siri to recognize your voice. Next, you'll be asked to share your app usage and diagnostic data with developers. This is completely optional, however. Finally, you'll be able to choose whether to use a standard or zoomed-in view for your iPhone's display. To make sure your iPhone is using the latest version of iOS, tap on Settings, then select General, then Software Update. If there is an update ready to download, tap on Download and Install. To download apps and games, tap on the App Store. While many are free, there are some that need to be paid for, so you'll need to enter your Apple ID password or use Touch ID to make a purchase. Connect your iPhone to a PC or laptop and use iTunes to back up your iPhone in case anything goes wrong. You can also transfer music, videos, and photos to your iPhone through iTunes. Your iPhone should now be ready to use. Call your contacts, play the latest games, and browse the web. 
We have lots more tips and tricks for getting the most out of your iPhone at TechRadar.com. Click the link below to find out more.